Hi there, I'm Dave. And I'm Steve. We're from Modwheel. And today we're going to have a look at the Perk Plus Redux library. Uh, a little bit of history. Yeah, called Redux because it's been uh, reissued by Modwheel. It wasn't originally released by us, it was released by Lux Knox. A Belgian composer and musician called Chris Ons recorded a huge percussion library, 14 gig, 128 patches, and it was a limited release um, and a fundraiser, and the money went to Mr. Holland's Opus Foundation. So a little while ago we were approached to uh, see whether we wanted to take it over on the same basis, that it being a fundraiser for a, a musical charity, and uh, we jumped at the chance. Uh, the library has been unavailable since about... No, since what, 2014? It got rave reviews, people loved it. It's an awesome library, so we thought, oh, what a great chance to Good get it out there. We have reskinned it though. Yeah. Find it, Perk Plus Redux. Open it, there's nine folders. And the nine folders are rides and crashes, you know, all sorts of different symbols Actually, and ten metal folders. Gongs. Ten folders, because mm. the first one's labelled zero. Mm. That's very true. Um, Let's just jump straight in. Okay. Here's the GUI. So it's fairly um, straightforward. You've got an envelope with an attack and release uh, tune, which is plus or minus three octaves. Um, a body control, which is assigned to the sustain of the transient master, which just kind of, what does it do? Oh, well, we'll show you what it does shortly. Right. Adds, adds it more adds body, body yeah. or, or, yeah, or it takes sustain. it away. Mm. Yeah, it's sort of a, almost. But it's different to an envelope sustain, that's a thing. Yeah. And just back to the tuning knob, because most of this material was not um, chromatically pitched on the keyboard, you can pitch it anywhere. So a lot of these sounds yeah, work so really well, either tuned up or tuned down, yeah. hence putting that tuning knob there. Mm. has a reverb, has uh, a delay, the send and the time, and it, it's in graduations of 30 second notes. It will uh, take into account tempo changes and stuff within your session or your sequence or whatever. What it didn't originally have, this library was uh, an arpeggiator tab. Although this does have round robins, uh, a lot of similar sounds are laid across the keyboard adjacent to each other. Which makes it great for doing yeah. deals. So we have got, this is an on-off switch for the arpeggiator, but let's just hear some sounds first. So this is the uh, ride symbol expressive and there's just a bunch of all sorts of ride. So you'll notice down here uh, where the keys are color coded like sounds are grouped together with a similar color. Often it will mean uh, that the, the differences between them will be the velocity levels. There are a couple of round robins. But there's a lot of variety across the keyboard. Okay, well that gives you a kind of a basic idea of, say, A whole heap of stuff there, Steve. Mm. Okay, so let's listen to another one out of this. There's uh, a huge amount of material in this first folder, and we're not going to go through it all, but we will find, say, something like this. Just to give a show you some of the variety, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's nice. It is nice. Okay, let's try putting, show the arpeggiator tab while we're here. If we turn the arpeggiator on. And you can click on the tab and you can adjust all the, the, the rate. And the velocity levels or the, the shape velocity, of The velocity, uh, the pat, the rhythmic pattern. You can alter that. You, you can alter want. that. The duration. The swing. Yep. So that's pretty uh, versatile. Let's get a loop. Probably worth pointing out here, Steve, because the first thing that catches my eye is the coloured color keyboard, coloured mm. coding, and it will tell you that within this info tab. Yes. So each patch will tell you kind of what the colour coding is. This white patch, oh, this is something we've added down here, uh, which is a stutter key, which is good on sustained sounds. 
for performance thing. Oh, probably the other thing we should mention at this point is most of the patches we've put a uh, notch filter on the mod wheel yep. just to give it some, which also helps in just sort of performance and playing. Okay, great. Um, so we could be here all month going through this stuff to show you, but let's just go. I, I quite like that low. There's the low one with the hand. Where's that? The fist percussion. Yeah. That one there. One A55. So some of this stuff has a um, decent solid bottom end, especially these close mic kind of. These are beautiful, some beautiful stutter key. And I can show how the body actually. What it will do, yeah. we'll use this to uh, get us a. I'll get the put the arpeggiator on, find us some nice. I don't know if the black keys are working. No, they don't on this one. So it's just some of the sounds. Steve's holding key down. So with the body, we'll give you much shorter. Or you can. And then there's. And there's playing a dotted eighth delay. And Steve's doing a bit of filter sweeping as well. So just. Oh, and then you've nice got. Uh, and the, the pitch, pitch control. Uh, the pitch wheel is set to a, an octave. Okay, nice. so that's that. So that folder has, what did you say, 30 33 something? 33 patches. This number coding on the front. Don't really understand what that means. <laughs> <laughs> that was, the original patches had that. So for the integrity of them, we just left them there. Yeah. I don't know what it means. Maybe croissants at some point will enlighten, enlighten us. the world. Um, okay. What do these muted ones do? Let's have a listen to that. So just uh, throw um, throw the arp on. Let's just hear what it sounds like. Okay, now mess around with the tuning knob. Take actually turn up the reverb too. Let's see. Not too much. Is that enough? Yeah. Now turn the turn the tuning right up. So I can... That's nice. Yeah. Like a little drum. And wonder what I'll take the body down or the body up. Actually, the body wouldn't affect it so much because we're so high, the samples are a lot shorter, so you won't notice that so much. So we'll forget that. Now, just by the way, Steve, like everything we do, if you hold the command key down and click on that, the tuning will go back to zero, whatever yeah, the default the, setting was. The body was. will go back to the default as well. And so, um, yeah, just to get everything back to the default. Okay. okay let's move on. Let's yep. see what else we got. Bells. So there's bells. Little various finger little, toy yep. symbols, yep. bell symbols. Yep. Do we need to play? No. no. Um, gongs. And gongs and bowls, same sort of thing. There's tam tam. Oh, let's hear a big tam tam. They're always good to hear, aren't they? Yeah. Is this, are these choke? No, we should explain that. Uh, so the ones that have choke. Yeah, they are. Okay, yeah. can you explain that, please, Steve? So the sharps and flats uh, keys, these ones down here with the with the coloured white, um, they choke the the samples. You know, the on the natural keys below them. In fact, all over the keyboard probably. Well explained. <laughs> Everyone got that. <laughs> Chinese opera gong. Let's see. Oh, soft. Again, this has got the chokes. Okay. Quite nice by themselves too. What does this wind gong do? Oh, that's that's very nice. The wind gong. Let's hear that. Well, like. Yep. Okay. Uh, the uh, hand percussion, you know, it's all, all sorts of different articulations and things. These are nice. And they sound good detuned, often. And if we turn the um, delay right up. I'd have to get in 10th 
tempo with the, that delay though. Just. of fun okay moving on so the next folder is bowscape stuff which is fairly um, sound designer lots of um, quite good with the stutter key and the filter yeah well, that was a nice one I like that note Great. More, um, there's a whole folder of that sort of stuff. Oh, this is a good one. And. Oh, Ooh. another a pretty picture. Oh, yeah, this is nice. This is asking for an arpeggiator. That's enough of that. Mm. Um, so there's a bit more of that sort of stuff, different, just different uh, random... Industrial coffee maker, let's see the industrial coffee maker. Again, these are, these are quite uh, fun to experiment with the tuning of them as well. Okay. Add, um, add? No, no, oh, yeah, yeah, and add. Great, it's really inspiring. Small percussion, folder of small percussion. Um, I have, uh, yeah, I'm unfamiliar with the rain stick, Steve. What's, let's have a listen to the rain stick. Ah, another new theory. Oh, yep. So there's a, a kind of short rhythmic events, and then there's another patch of the long, you know. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then you've got uh, tambourines. Tambourines, yep. Okay. And a uh, section of skin drums, this frame drum here. Let's go have a look there. I quite like the, uh, the Dumbuk. The Dumbuk's Dumbuk. always a good one. Let's have a listen to the Dumbuk. You're a master, really. I know what I feel. <laughs> <laughs> Do those nice sweeps with the pitch knob on. Take the body down, make it. Okay. Good, clean fun, really, isn't it? Yep. Uh, there's a folder of stringed instruments, and basically this is um, mostly the, a piano being smacked. Yeah, just um, because of hits of the soundboard of a piano. Who's there? Hello? I 
knew that was going to end oh, badly. It was going to always end badly, wasn't it? Uh, okay, that, and that wasn't even the abused one. Here's the absence. Because I'm me, I just immediately going to switch the arpeggio. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. There's hours and hours and hours of fun. And yeah. there's a viola de gamba, but it's not really the string um, part of it. It's oh, there's the a few a little string. I like this one. Yeah. But mostly it's just the uh, body of it being hit. And Tuned. Some tuned. Uh, my chair's quite squeaky. Mm. I apologise for that, everyone. No, I don't apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should. <laughs> um, so uh, all these, all these ones, uh, the samples are mapped right across the keyboard. There's no stutter keys on these ones, and they don't just. Also, what's of interest, Steve? Yeah, is that the, um, the instead of the mod wheel doing a filter sweep, it what does it do? Well, it scrolls through um, variations of the sound. Um, so as you scroll through, it changes. It's quite noticeable. So to play C C zero or C one or something, I think it gets, you get some of those scratchy ones come in. It's a slightly brighter attack, and then there's. A, yeah. And there's a, a whole uh, folder of basically that sort of stuff. Different. Um, what are these paddy ones? What does this paddy one do? Maybe we'll go out on this. Well, they're the same kind of thing, but uh, the attack's been wound off. So the. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, this has been a brief run through of the Perk Plus Redux library, um, originally released by Lux Knox Audio, re released by us at Modwheel. If you want further information, visit our website. You'll see the address at the end of the video. Uh, we will find information about purchase and download, plus information about the musical charity that is the beneficiary of this fundraiser.